watch it now. Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Thunder 2004. In this episode of our season with Jeff Gordon, we're going to be doing race 34 of 36, the Checker Auto Parts 500 at Phoenix International Raceway. Like I mentioned at the end of the last episode, in this one we're going to be using the 2003 Looney Tunes Chevrolet. That is because he used this paint scheme in the actual Checker Auto Parts 500 in 2003. And plus, it is a Western kind of paint scheme. It's got Yosemite Sam and all that stuff. You know how Looney Tunes has their Western episodes, or had their Western episodes. I mean, Looney Tunes, they tried coming back and they just fell apart, but whatever. And um, that's also probably the reason why they uh, picked this paint scheme in 2003, because this is Phoenix, Arizona, so it's, you know, Western. So let's go to qualifying and figure out how the car setup feels, and... Hopefully, we can get ourselves a qualifying spot in the top ten. I don't know if I'm going to have trouble doing that because I don't even remember how easy or hard the um, qualifying is here. I think it's, like, fairly fairly easy. I'm not sure. All right, so, Zodiac. Yeah, Zodiac. What the hell is that? I don't know what anything is in this dang game, do I? I didn't know what Korean was. My car is sponsored by that. Now we got Zodiac. Why, why is... I don't know, I was wondering what the hell that was doing there. When did I do that? Looks like we got ourselves a good corner here. Oh, whoa. Is this... Oh, but this is... That was my first lap game. Really? <laughs> is it really that easy to get the pole here? Okay, so yeah, that's discovered. I mean, I'm just kind of driving around the track and I made it that easily. Like, my golly, I stopped turning and my car continues to turn by itself. Looks like we got ourselves a better lap here. Yeah, was, I guess that was like, what, half a uh, tenth better or something? Five, five hundredths better? I'm not sure. I wasn't even looking at lap time specifically. So we're going to start on, start on pole and uh, let's go ahead and get to the pre-race show of the Czech Rock Parts 500 at Phoenix International Raceway. Joe Moore and Barney Hall from the beautiful Arizona desert at the One Mile Phoenix International Raceway for today's Checker Auto Parts 500K. Barney, this is quite a unique track. Tell us about it. This can be a very fast racetrack, but due to its low degree of banking, these cars can get a little loose coming out of the corners and to make it even more difficult for the drivers, every turn is a little bit different than the one before it. The 24 car can count on a couple of the drivers out there to treat him well, especially Kevin Harvick. You can tell that's something he's really been working at recently. Respect on the racetrack yeah, we need just to get doesn't Matt happen Kenses. all I don't know if he's it's in the top 10 anywhere. To some effort into. See Johnny Benson won the Bush Series championship in 1995. That championship was sandwiched between Kevin two Harvick's way back there. Awards. He won the Bush Series award in 1994, followed up his championship with Winston Cup rookie honors in 96. Jerry Nadeau is one of those guys who you just keep expecting to break out and have a good year. Yeah, you do, but he's got a ton of talent and some good equipment. He's shown he can win and run up front. Now he's just got to string some success together and gain some confidence out there. Starting on pole next to Tony Stewart. Um, I just basically took away his ninth pole and made it mine. Kurt Busch starting on the out inside of Bill Elliott. We've got Dylan Hart Jr., Dale Jarrett, Bobby Labonte, Jimmy Johnson, Ricky Craven, and Rusty Wallace. That is our top ten. I'm going to be starting on pole next to Tony Stewart. The green flag is out, and we're underway here at Phoenix International Raceway. All right. Whoa! I'm trying to give him some room on the outside at the same time. I don't want to break too early, and it uh, looks like he's got the lead. Try making him a 100% ally, I guess, while we're at it. Whoa! Get off the brakes. Get off the brakes. Dude. Get off the brakes. Uh, let's 
like I said, I don't know where Matt Kenseth is. I never saw him. Probably had a chance to look for him whenever uh, they were looking through the field and whatever, and that the national anthem was ending and that kind of thing. I saw Kevin Harvick. He's way back there in the back of the field with um, Johnny Benson. He was like a couple rows in front of him. So that's that sucks. Ugh. I'm just trying to freaking follow Tony Stewart so I can share his draft with him and everything. But he has a stupid driving line that's going to get me wrecked. And now he'll get all the way back up there. I had to check up, so that's why he was able to take off. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they block no matter what in this game from what I've discovered. They don't just get right out of the way. Sometimes they get out of your way if they're your ally. Sometimes they don't. I'm exactly like you don't He's exist. Right there. He slips up, your move. Uh, EA Sports could program a video game without flawing it. Make this whole Grudge's Alliance feature and it's like half ass working. And it, it never changed though, did it? Didn't you Technics try that uh, Grudge's and Alliance's system in NASCAR 2011 the game? Kind of. I don't, I'm not sure. Like, they, they, they just, they wouldn't hit you on purpose most of the time, but they would just race you hard, and that was about it. I'm not sure. I never had that game. I don't know very much about it. I know that the game was made to be really romantic and look like sunset at every freaking track. What the hell that was all about. NASCAR 2011 was the most romantic NASCAR video game ever made. Man, you, you can just have sex with that video game, it's so romantic. Oh my god, you Technics. Whoa. Great. Mm. So we're almost at 100% with Tony Stewart's alliance thing. Okay, there we go. Now I just need to find a way around him. Whoa, don't hit that. Got a little bit sideways afterwards. We'll catch up to him. Delnart Jr. is still right there behind us. Oh God! Damn, that was a, that was a save if I ever saw one. I, I need to aim for right above the apron, that the uh, rumble strip, not not the rumble actual rumble strip because um, this is not the rumble strip club. This is the uh, win the freaking Western ass race club. So right, let's not do that. All worn tires, there's no way in hell I wouldn't be able to say that. I can save that, I can guarantee you that. So, good thing we're actually making that accident at the beginning of the race. I'm going to just say like another five more laps, I probably wouldn't have been able, been able to save that. Yeah, when we, we're, we're right there with them, we just need to find a way around them. They don't always give you room. I mean, even if they're allies, they'll just say, they'll just decide not to give you room. Kind of weird. Ah! I suddenly lost my steering as I hit the brakes. We got our, no, I ain't going for it. I'm not going for it. I think my best chance to pass him would be coming out of this corner, but that's only if I don't play too much like I just did a bit. I really miss the grass. It made it more competitive, you know? It gave them less room, meaning that they had to, uh, it, it made the race more interesting. They would, uh, be closer together. You know, you figure NASCAR would want closer racing, but they're not repaving, they're not unpaving the track or whatever and putting grass there like they used to. I like the grass. It made the track look better. It made the racing closer and more exciting. Now it's go wherever the hell you want to at this track. Dang it! Freaking didn't want to rear end him, so I, I brake checked and it's like I can't brake track. Brake, brake star track going into the corners or whatever. Freaking sucks. Brake star check. Alright. Do I have a chance on passing at the exit here? Oh, yes, we do. Nope, I'm gonna get tight going to the dog leg. I know that was gonna happen. See, I. I had to start turning to the right to keep the car from getting um, too sideways, and then I'm not going to be able to save it. 
I, I just can't find a way around right now. I really don't want to pass him going to turn one because I'll get tight and most likely slide up into him and then we'll slide up the track and into the wall. Okay, we've got a better chance right here. I don't get tight in the dog leg. Whoa! Damn, I barely touched him and he just freaking dented my whole ass. Okay, so we're clear. See, that's... The steering is so sensitive on the PlayStation 2 version of NASCAR Thunder 2004 that if you barely touch it, it jerks your car to that direction. Uh, most of the time. Not to mention being nervous of that happening just makes it even more likely to happen. But man, I really slid through the dogleg last lap, and I'm still sliding because my rear end loses all its grip whenever I tap the brakes at a certain point. Going into turn three, or four, whatever you want to call it. Does the dog leg count as a turn? I'd like to know. That's like the same thing I had with uh, Naz Nazareth. Nazareth. Whatever. I like saying Nazareth. But, um. It's Nazareth. Naz Nazareth. 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 I can't even remember. I don't even care. Alright. No, I can say whatever I want to because JJ's reversals doesn't exactly watch my videos anymore. He doesn't have the time for that. I wouldn't blame him. My videos aren't good enough for people like him to be um, wasting time watching them. Okay, so Stan Barrett in front of me. I'm going to take my pit stop at the end of lap 17, which is next time by. Let's just hope that Stan Barrett doesn't hold me up a ton and cause me to brake check and lose control of the car. Before I take my pit stop. Oh, goodness, I'm losing the grip. Oh my gosh. Oh, what the heck? Um, I have no idea what the hell just happened. I don't know if I oversteered or what. Maybe I saw the track incorrectly and I just started turning to it. Okay, I almost started sliding and spinning. I don't know if you saw that. There was a sudden. Uh, amount of steering. I don't know, it's, you get the sudden jerk of steering almost every time you play this game. Now, I've already heard that the Xbox version has, it's, it's just simply better than the PlayStation 2 version. Except that I don't like playing Xbox, because I, I don't like the, the, uh, the controller layout. It's, I'm not comfortable with that. I don't like how the controllers feel. Even if the game is better on that version. We once had an Xbox, but I wouldn't get this game for Xbox and I already have a PlayStation 2. Whatever. Four tires? Four tires in less than 16 seconds. Uh, that's like fast. For this game, that is extremely freaking fast. Is Dale J right there? Yeah, I'm going to let him buy because I don't want to screw up going through the dog leg, you know? Because you can get tight in the dog leg and I'll just destroy you. Okay, I need to go around you. Gosh, Dale Jarrett's freaking slow. Give him. I'm already underneath him. All clear, buddy. All right. That's a textbook pass there. Uh, what can Brown do for you? It, it can stop getting all over my face. I don't want you shit on my face, Dale Jarrett. If I rear-end you, you will be saying oops, just like the front of your damn card. Mm -hmm. I really wish that everybody was my ally, like in NASCAR PSP. Well, not everybody, but a lot of the drivers in NASCAR PSP crew are their allies. God dang it! God dang it with your stupid shit car! Ugh! There needs to be a U.S. Postal Service car. United States Postal Service. Because United Postal Service, or whatever UPS actually, actually stands for, they... They take so much longer than USPS, United States Postal Service, and whatever. They just do. From personal experiences, UPS always takes longer to um, get to my area than the regular, you know, the regular mail truck. You know, I've seen the mail truck. They'll they'll bring me the mail, and uh, whether it's an actual package or. Um, what is it? You know, mail, they put the mail in the mailbox. And UPS, they usually just do big packages. I don't even know if they actually do mail. I think they just do big packages and stuff like that. 
Whatever. Big old freaking truck that you can race in NASCAR 06. And now, can you race the, the UPS truck in NASCAR 07? I don't remember. So Ricky Rudd is in the lead. Tony Stewart is in second. I think Ricky Rudd is probably, uh, yeah, he just went down pit road. So it's Tony Stewart that I've got to find. Is Tony Stewart that car that's just now getting into turn three, four, whatever? Yeah, it looks like it, this orange car. Is that other car right in front of me? Is that that traffic? Wow, I think. Uh, Tony Stewart is somebody overheated their engine. I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't. I don't recall passing them. I don't. I don't know who that was. I think this is Kevin LePage right here. I think Tony Stewart is just way over there. Yeah, that's got to be him. Oh, we don't have very many laps. Got a long way to go. Are you gonna block me? If you block me. He's, he's not blocking me, but I gotta hold my line, Golly. Not blocking me. Thank God for that. Block me, dipshit. I mean, you not dipshit because you didn't, but whatever. There's Tony Stewart gaining on him right here. Look, the indicator just showed up and the identicator, whatever. Gosh. And I barely touched 27 when I were passing on the outside. It just destroyed the whole rear end of the car. And that was the only contact I have made all race. Is that dent right there. Isn't it? That's that's the only contact that I've made all race long. And he, I mean, he touched me. A, a, I bumped into him a bit, but not that much. My God, I caught up with 20 stores so fast. 100%. He's the only one of my allies that I've actually been able to share draft with. Everybody else is just been nowhere around me. Is he gonna be hard to pass again? Maybe, maybe. He's not giving me room right here. Oh, is he? he, he he's, does he get? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, he's no. <laughs> well, I, I just don't want to pass him going into turn one. That's not my thing. I really don't like doing that unless I have the room. And if I do have the room, I. I we're just sliding the track and hitting him either way. Dang it! Dang it. Oh, we only got a few laps to go. I need to find a way around him, otherwise I'm not going to win. Freaking car! Gotta get sideways. Oh, wait. I got sideways, so he tried to block it, then he's all stupid shit now. Oh! He, he found the wall, and he got away from the wall. I was on the other side. And... Ho! Oh, no ho! Dang it. That's what I was worried about. Being in the inside turn one, I slide up into him. And now I didn't make the pass. This freaking sucks. Uh, we're only going to have two laps to go this time by. Whoa, he gave me room. I wasn't expecting it. Eleanor Jr.'s there. Got him off the corner right here. Uh, yeah, I think I can finish the pass going to turn one. Maybe. Damn, they break, they break later than me. They break later than me. Okay, I got it here. I got it. Got it. Got it. I got it. All right. My God, he's right behind me. And wow, I just... Uh, I don't know if my I break I break extremely late in that turn or what, but man, I just took off right there. It looks like we're, we've got the win in our hands now. Just, wow, Junior passed him right afterwards. And he was, I don't know if he lost all his speed once he got the lead or what. Uh, tight exit. But, not that tight, but... Okay, so it's the last lap. One more corner to go. Looking now along that yellow line. Off the final corner. Checker flag waves, and we win here at Phoenix. Two LPs seasons in a row or whatever. Alright, so... Donald Jr. second and Tony Stewart third. Let's go do some, uh... Some donuts. Some, uh, some peanuts. I don't know. Some peanuts? Some, some, some peanuts. My car won't do it. I, I, do donuts. Huh, okay, I guess that's, that's good. Man. 
Oh well. At least I at least I tried. I don't know, I can't put the big donuts at this track. I don't have the room for it. You gotta do it at the finish line because they paid to sit there. I don't, I only almost hit that. Oh okay, so we're just roaming down the little pit road. I usually miss my pit stall whenever I try to get in at this track, I know that for a fact. At least I do a NASCAR PSV, I don't know what this one. Alright, there it is. Okay, great brakes. There we go. The yellow flag didn't fly at all in this one. Well, that's good news for all these race teams because that can mean one thing, no major wrecks. Jeff Gordon really did a fantastic job keeping his car away from trouble all race long. You know, these NASCAR Winston Cup race teams absolutely love drivers who take care of their cars. Makes their jobs a whole lot easier when they aren't having to spend extra hours in the body shop each week. Yeah. So, I mean, I pretty much almost went this entire race without making contact with anybody, but then I made um, some... I made some contact with Tony Stewart whenever I passed him on the outside uh, right after the dog leg. I couldn't hold the freaking line with the sensitive steering and shit. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, that, that was about it, honestly. And then we went to celebrate and we backing into the wall and driving into the wall and all kinds of wall. Alright, let's go to Victory Lane for... 16th times. I don't even know how many times I've won. I need to, I need to go find out. I don't remember how many times. Rock music. Victory music. I think the, Vic the uh, Victory Lane music should be Celebration Song by Unwritten Law from the next first day to the end of the because that, that song feels like Victory. Or, it could be Sweet Sweet Victory from Spongebob. <laughs> that would work too. Well, everybody loves Spongebob, right? Oh. So yeah, we, we got, we, we now own Arizona. Look, I own Arizona now. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, down by Mesh STL coming up for air again. Alright, so, 96 Tony Stewart, 92 Jimmy Johnson, and 82 with Kurt Busch, and 92 with Kevin Harvick. So these are all four of these allies, still big allies, but uh, I want to make them all 90, say say 96 after the last race. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I mean, Matt Kenseth, we still haven't gotten him yet. I mean, I need to find him. I couldn't find him in this race, I mean, I never came across Matt Kenseth in this race, so that's that was disappointing. Didn't he start in the back? Yeah, Matt Kenseth started in the back, like uh, in front of Johnny Benson or whatever, right? Okay, let's go ahead and look at the uh, race results. So I started first and finished first, led eight laps in this race. Um, Dale Nart Jr. started fifth and finished second. He led one lap in this race. That probably came around during uh, pit stops or whatever. Um, Tony Stewart started second and finished third after Delonar Jr. passed him, and he led 16 laps in this race, which is the most laps led. Um, Bill Elliott started fourth and finished fourth. Ricky Rudd started 21st and finished fifth. He made up quite a few positions. Ryan Newman started 11th and finished sixth. Rusty Wallace started 10th and finished seventh. Uh, by the way, Ricky Rudd led six laps in this race. Um, Dale Jarrett started sixth and finished eighth. Uh, Kurt Busch started third and finished ninth. And Mark Martin started 12th and finished 10th. Okay, we'll go ahead and look through the rest of these. Johnny Benson started 38th and finished 13th. He might have been the one to make up the most spots. Now, um, Matt Kenseth, he he did move up. Uh, he he did start like, I mean, I, I don't know. That was uh, Captain Harvick, wasn't it? I don't know where Matt Kenseth started. Uh, did I skip him or no? I just I don't see Matt Kenseth. Okay, there's Matt Kenseth. Matt Kenseth started 28th. And finished 18th. And Kevin Harvick started 38th, so that there he was. He moved up to 15th. So yeah, we had quite a few big movers in this race now, didn't we? All right. So did we have any tough breaks for anybody here? Jamie McMurray, Casey Mears finished two spots, um, um, two spots behind him or whatever. So yeah, that's nothing new there. 
The Annette's, okay, Kevin LePage, uh, yeah, he was a lap down, so yeah, he didn't get it. Yeah, Bobby Labonte, started 7th and finished um, 43rd, because he got a DNF, only lasted 23 laps, so he almost made it to the end, so, uh, that's disappointing. He was doing really good, Pat, and uh, a few of the races uh, that we had the past weeks ago, but looks like he's just falling apart after Martinsville. He did. He did all right. At Atlanta, though, didn't he? He did pretty good at Atlanta. I don't even remember who won at Atlanta anymore. I don't know. I don't remember anything. <laughs> Whatever. So, next up, North Carolina, The Rock, the uh, the Pop Micro Secret Corn um, Wave Four Hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's going to be race 35 36. Um, North Carolina Speedway, The Rock, Rockingham, North Carolina, blah, blah, blah. Pop Secret Microwave, Popcorn 400. In that episode, we're going to be using the um, 2002 DuPont 200 Chevrolet because we've only raced this paint scheme. What? We've only raced this paint scheme like three times? I think this is going to be the fourth time, maybe fourth, fifth time. I, I don't I don't even know how many times I race this paint scheme. I, I'm not even counting into this crap. I just race it whenever I feel like I haven't raced it in a while. All right. I feel like that car is going to look pretty amazing at that track because that track is all, you know, great, dark grayish with a dark groove and this car is... I don't know. I feel like that car looks good on tracks where you could, you've got a dark groove and then you've got some really... Um, where, where the pavement is like... It's very detailed because... I don't know. Detailed looking pavement. I... I I love the sexy, detail-looking pavement. That's that's my thing. Yeah, who won, who won the race we just did? I don't remember. Uh, oh, Ryan Newman won. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, Bobby Labonte, his last win was a long time. Oh, yeah, New Hampshire, way back. Um, yeah, that was New Hampshire way back, like, after the halfway point in the season and whatever. All right. So, I... Wait, wait, how many wins do I have now? Yeah, that was my 16th win. Wow, that was kind of accurate earlier. I, uh, yeah, I just also got my ninth pull of the season. So that's that's cool, too. I am 439 points ahead of Tony Stewart, who finished third. And then we've got Kurt Busch in third, Ryan Newman fourth, Jimmy Johnson fifth, Dylan Hart Jr. seventh, and he's just finished second in that race. Ricky Rudd in seventh, Kevin Harvick in eighth, and Bobby Labonte in ninth. Uh, Mark Martin is in tenth. Okay, so we'll just go ahead. Matt Kenseth in eleventh. Just looking through all this stuff. Jamie McMurray is in twenty-sixth, and Casey Mears in twenty-ninth. So, date. Jamie McRae loses the spot, then so does Casey Mears, so this is ridiculous. Or, well, no, he lost two spots, didn't he? Yeah, he lost two spots, and Casey Mears lost one. So I don't, I don't know if you could say that Casey Mears is gaining on Jamie McMurray, because Casey Mears is currently, what is this, 200? 206 points behind Jamie McMurray? Dang. Okay, so we're just going to keep looking through this. Kenny Wallace is, he just doesn't move. Uh, a ghost in 35th place. Uh, just looking through all this junk. David Green sucks. Alright, so Matt Kenseth is still neutral at 24%. Hopefully we can try working with him at Rockingham. I don't know how he's going to do there. Um, if not, we've always got Homestead, last race of the season, which I do believe is going to be on a Thursday. The uh, first Thursday of November. I do believe that's going to be the last race of the season. And the last week for both NASCAR PSP career mode season and this LP. Um, I think that's going to be the last week for both of them. Alright, so Kurt Busch 82%, Kevin Harvick and Jimmy Johnson 92%, and Tony Stewart is at 96%. Tony Stewart was the only one of my uh, buddies that I was ever with. So hopefully we can get around to Matt Kinsley once again. Alright, so yeah. I had the fastest lap all race. Lap all race, so that's not... Surprising. Um, I got the poll, of course. Tony Stewart led the most laps. Johnny Benson, as we, as I mentioned, he started 38th and finished somewhere. I don't even remember. 
and uh, he made up the most spots, blah, blah, blah. David Murray, rookie of the race all over again. Uh, Michael Waltrip is the most exciting, worthless piece of shit that this game could come up with. Uh, yeah, that. Case okay, Mirrors, 206 points behind Jamie McMurray. David Green, terrible rookie. Hope David Green doesn't get a full time ride in the 2004 season. That is probably not going to happen until 2027. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to do a second season in this game. I don't know with Jeff Gordon. It's probably going to be a thousand years from now. Okay. So, yeah, I just took the, uh, the uh, ninth poll from Tony Stewart and made it my own. So now he's got two races left to get two poles and maybe he can, you know. If he gets two poles, he can beat me in the pole race award thing. But I don't think he's going to get the pole twice in a row. I mean, he almost got it three times in a row until I took it away from him at Phoenix. It's quite the battle right there. Uh, yeah, Kurt Busch, four. Delnar Jr., four. All right, just looking at all this. Kenny Wallace gets the pole. Uh, duh. And this. Yeah, I led quite a few laps in that race. Tony Stewart led... Um, he led the most laps in that race and then finished third. So, yeah, this is where we are with our lap champion thing now. Bobby Labonte, who is the third uh, person on the table because he's yeah, he's led 94 laps or whatever. He, he just finished last place, got a DNF. Only lasted 23 laps or whatever. So that, that was disappointing. Uh, he's been having some bad races. I mean, we had Phoenix and then Martinsville. I don't even remember how he did it. Um, Atlanta. Yeah. Kyle Petty's led a lap. That's awesome. All right, so I'll see you next time whenever we go to Rockingham, finally. Hopefully we can have ourselves an awesome race here. That was actually one of the closest races of the season right here. Pretty close because a caution came out making it a uh, green-white checker. And then um, I was on worn tires, and everyone behind me was on fresh tires. So, gosh, that was a bit like Johnny Benson, except that wasn't extremely low on fuel. So, see you next time. That's that. And episode over.